All right, folks, welcome to episode 68 of the Wee Podcast. Phil here with Clarky. Hello. Apologies about how we signed today. We were a bit under the weather, but... Um, I'm sick. <laughs> I don't know if we sound bad on the mic or anything, <coughs> but um, if we do, apologies. Um, today, we're going to talk about... <coughs> apologies. We're but also, about... you're welcome, because we're doing it. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. Um, so today, we're going to talk about the Division 2. Um... I'm going to talk, what, what was it, something wrong was it? I just opened my mouth weird. <laughs> so we're going to talk about the Division 2. Um, we're going to do the, the usual part in Part 2, the what's trending part. Got three lucky things today, so um, that'll be fun. Um, we've got some Stranger Things to talk about. You like it? Oh, uh, very good. I didn't even catch <laughs> on. Very good. Um, um, and we're going to talk about, about the uh, Disney Fox Biover. And some things to do with the Marvel uh, universe, and some things to do with the DC universe as well. So it's packed. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a packed episode. Packed. So uh, hopefully you enjoy, folks. Woo! Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> nice, nice. So obviously we've only been in a couple of hours. With the old Division 2. Mm-hmm. What do you make of it? First time Division player ever. I've never played. Yeah, Division 1. The other one. Yeah. So I Which I only recently, first. I only found that out tonight. Really? I didn't know oh, you yeah, didn't you didn't know that at all. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, I, n- I never played it. So, the that's my first ever you know, Division experience. The game. So, picked it up on the Friday, obviously it came, installed it, took forever. And then, literally, I kid you not, like four hours. Like, it just took so long. Don't know oh, why. Dear. Uh, didn't get on it that night. Uh, tried to <laughs> I play can it. Tried to play it a bit the next day, um, in the morning. Made my character and stuff. And uh, then it service went down for maintenance for an hour and a half, which is how long I had to play. Oh, dear. So then I couldn't play it on Saturday. That's just so funny how the world comes around. It's yeah, just, it's just... An hour and a half? Not, not for today. you today, Exactly. So I had to do something else. And then, on the... Sunday, I finally got down to uh, four hours, maybe play some. So, um, maybe three actually, but whatever it was, but it was good. And then, um, as I said, yeah, first time I'd ever played it. So whenever I got into it, it sort of put you sort of into the story. Yeah. Um, you didn't get to play the betas. No, I didn't. That's a whole other story. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know what the best bit was? For anybody that doesn't know, basically the background of that is I was sent a code by Amazon. Uh, I put it in on Ubisoft. It said it was already used. Uh-huh. I went back to Amazon and said it had already been used. They said it wasn't their fault, that it was Ubisoft's fault. I went to Ubisoft. They said it was Amazon's fault. Yeah. Amazon said they sent me a new code. Uh, they sent me the same code. And then I asked them for another one and they said it would be there in 24 hours. It never arrived. Um, they said, right, it'll be fine. We'll get you a new one for the next beta so you can get your downloadable content that then arrived uh, on the Wednesday before the game came out so last week um, I put that in to get the content yeah. and that had also been used oh for goodness sake so whatever they're sending me doesn't work um, Amazon have screwed me out basically I wonder why it's used um, though I don't understand why that would work it says it's already been used I don't know, but to be honest with you, it's one of those. It doesn't really matter. Like I wasn't gonna wear the outfit anyway. Oh it was yeah, like the wee fireman. Did you the fireman one? Yeah, I got a wee hazmat suit of mine. Did you buy it on Amazon? No Xbox. See Amazon, if you buy it on Amazon, it's a um, first responders pack you get. Oh, so you just get like just fireman and ambulance. There's like a weapon as well. You got like some weapon that you could have used, and possibly something else but I can't really remember I'm not going to get it anyway but it's one of those it doesn't really matter at the end of the day but it was one of those that sort of it doesn't really matter it sort of annoyed me because I paid for it and I wasn't going to get it Yeah. Uh, I didn't even complain to Amazon this time because What's they would have said it was Ubisoft's fault and whatever just the two that went in a circle again so no I didn't get to play any of the betas I should have went on and played the public one but to be honest I completely forgot yeah but anyway, I didn't get playing them. So it's the first time I played it. Me and my character instantly regret not giving him a beard. You can go to a... Oh, never mind. Well, as long as you can do that. You can do that eventually. Good. Yeah. Because 
I just he looks so stupid. My guy is class. Yeah, he looks like a modern day Jesus. Yeah, I just I need to give him a beard. Did it's... you did you put your guy with glasses on? No. Why? Do you wear glasses in real life? What? I don't. I don't want it to be me. But then he just sort of looks like a. I don't know, like a, I'll, I don't know, like a Lionel Messi, but like, there's something wrong with him. <laughs> like honestly, it's so like I made the character and I was, so, I was just so disappointed. So I need the in the uh, beta or the game. The game. Oh no. I know. It's well, different. see the difference in the beta was you didn't really get an awful lot of customization because it was a beta. Well, I clearly haven't used mine very well. Even so in the real game, the customization no. in the real game is class. I know. The only problem I have with it is the tattoos. Yeah, you can't put it on two arms. Yeah. I was like, why is this not showing up? I was like, I'll put a sleeve in my left arm. Yeah. And then I'll put a sleeve in. Uh, no, you uh, won't. Yeah, that was really annoying. I went through all the tattoos and was like, which one's the, the one for the right arm? Uh huh. I was like, none of them. Or the left arm, is it, sorry? Both. Left, can do left both. arm? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so the left arm I can't do, it's only the right arm I can do. No, you can um, you can't do a sleeve on both. I couldn't. You can, but it's uh, re- uh, either left arms at the top and then right arms at the bottom. Oh. Or right, because I have a. I think it is my left arm actually, but you I you could do the other arm. Oh, yeah. maybe they'll fix that at some point. But I it, I'm sure we can't change it, can you? Because it said at the start it was like your character is now locked, blah blah blah. But didn't say it for me. Yeah, it told me basically whatever I pick, that's why the character looks. Yeah, but to be fair, it probably did. Pretty, well, but, you can, I don't know if you can add more tattoos or not, but there, there is a certain point you can go to a barber. And change your, like, sort of look. Your look. Cool. Well, that, that I want to do that. But, like, basically I gave myself a sleeve and then a leg one as well. Uh-huh. Just because I look pretty cool. Yeah. I never went for a neck one, but I regretted that a bit after. I put a neck one on. I was going to put maybe the moth thing. I cool. think I got a skull on mine or something. I sort of wish I'd done that, but I didn't. But, yeah. you know, customization was fun. Um, Played the first sort of wee bit, so it just shows you the combat and stuff. Yeah. That was fine. But See, again, I wanted, uh, I prefer like the semi-autos. I don't really do auto weapons ever. I prefer having yeah. the accuracy of pull, shoot, you hit. Yeah. Um. So whenever I was doing that, I was sort of, it gives you like some sort of, I don't know, auto fire weapon, so that was fine, but whenever I finally got the... I'm pretty sure you can switch. You can turn them to semi-auto. Okay. See, as I say, I've I never... the first one you could. I've played different games now. They all just sort of meld into one now. Might be able to, to be honest. You know, in, in the time I played, it was play the first, tra- you know, intro mission, um, which basically sends you to DC, mm-hmm. and then get to the White House was the next mission. And then after that, you get sent on one more mission, and that's really you. Yeah. That that jarred me a bit, as I said earlier. That like, basically, from then it's like, now what do you want to do? Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. You know, every game you're expected to, to be like, come yeah. on, we're yeah. going over here, and then you're yeah. going to this zone, and yeah. then yeah. you know, and then it sort of opens the map up. But yeah. it was very much mission, mission, mission. Now what? Yeah. So it's all linear up until a point. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. I, I like that idea about the division because it, like the map, I mean, it sort of does have a linear path because if you look at the maps, it'll tell you, or the map, it'll tell you this level's 4 to 8, this yeah. level's 10 yeah. to 12 or yeah. whatever. And you know where you should or could go. Yeah. yeah. And if you do go to those places on their level, you will get absolutely slaughtered. Yeah. I haven't even left the first bit, to be honest, because I wanted to sort of up my level. So I did some of the side missions. Mm-hmm. What are they called? Control points? And control points you did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, control um, points. Control points and... Some activities and stuff to get some kills. Some, yeah, some of those. And I haven't done all the wee SHD, is that what you call Yeah. It? SHD, I haven't, done, haven't done all the tech stuff yet. Yeah. But I do have the turret and... Um, drone. drone. Yeah. Which drone did you go for? Striker. Striker one, so the attacking one. I sort of do now, though. I didn't realise you could pick. Yeah. Because again, I just, I, I, to be honest, I, I should have just paid more attention to what I was doing. But yeah. well, it's all um, new to you, to the be repair fair. drone apparently is the one to have. Yeah. Because basically it just fixes you while you're yeah. Yeah. fighting. But, I, I'm um, probably going to get that one after I get some more HD techs. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I went for the Seeker Mine, mm-hmm. but the Cluster one. Is it good? It's okay. Um, It certainly does the damage whenever you're over leveled. Yeah. Whenever you're the same level, it's sort of half health. Still. Yeah. And then whenever obviously you're under leveled, it doesn't do Very much. Little. Yeah. yeah. But um, 
I know what you mean with the whole semi auto weapons and stuff, because I, I didn't actually get one until I think maybe level seven. Right. So I was with I got the DLC which I got this um shotgun. Yeah. I think it was like an epic shotgun or whatever you would call it, I don't know what it was called. But it's it was good for like the first like three or four levels and you get a, a mod for it so you could take it with you up to Oh like higher your level thirty something. or whatever the cap is yeah. and stuff. Um, so I used that, and then I got I went down to the Ubisoft store mm-hmm. and used some of the points I had to purchase. I lack of them, but I don't know what they're. F- I don't know what I can do with this. You can you can buy you can buy um, weapons. You can buy a weapon. I think it's a submachine gun. You can buy credits, which you would purchase for actual money. Uh-huh. You can buy like four hundred credits, and that's it. That's how much you get. But you can still purchase something like a nice little hat or something. Yeah. Um, you can purchase uh, in-game money. So you can, but it's like like a thousand or something. I think it's like a thousand credits or whatever it's called. Uh, you can get a couple of outfits and stuff. Right. You can get a wee um, you know the backpack bobblehead type of things, the little keychains you get for your backpack. Oh yeah. You can buy. A couple. I didn't know you could get this. That's yeah, funny. I think I've got the um the DC one, which is the the, the top of um the White House. The White House yeah, yeah, which is kind of cool. Um, do they move as you run? Yeah, yeah they move. Oh, yeah. cool. It's yeah, you can you can buy loads of stuff, but I mean you have to. There's there's certain things that say like details coming soon, so you yeah, can't purchase them. Yeah. There's some that you have to play the the beta for, right? Lol. Um, I already <laughs> got on to do the uh the open beta. Played it. It was okay, but I didn't want to do with the story. I didn't want to hear the story or anything because I just thought, well, what's the point? Yeah, I'm gonna play the actual game, so I'd rather just listen to that. So yeah, upon playing the game, it was just just the same sort of stuff. Like in D one. Oh, sorry, Division 1, as you're probably saying now. <laughs> um, even though it's technically the same thing. Like, yeah. the combat, I thought, was a lot more smooth. It's a lot smoother in D1. Really? Yeah, I think so, personally. It was just, like, I could, like, Sniper... Snipers in this feel amazing. I've never got one yet. I've got one, finally. Yeah. It's, they're, they're class, and once you hit them in the head, you know you hit them in the head, they're, like, dead and something. It's great. Yeah. But in Division 1, it was just, like, the majority of the time I had semi-auto snipers, whereas in this one, I had a bolt action. Oh, uh, so like doo doo. Bolt action is just the best ever. <laughs> yeah. Semi autos are just, nah, didn't didn't enjoy them at all. But the combat in in this one, I think, the the reticle just goes all over the place. Yeah, I, I noticed that to, with the autos. Yeah, definitely. I used to get headshots all the time in Division One, and it was it was easy as anything. But I remember taking off the auto aim stuff, so you didn't have to you know, yeah. auto aim in and look up and shoot them in the head. But in this one, like you shoot towards them. And it's like you're shooting the right line of them before you actually shoot them, yeah. which is annoying. But the the abilities and stuff, I think, are pretty cool. I I just went well, and I I knew the last one. I just had the secret man, and then went and got the uh, the striker drone as well. Yeah. Um, for the other times that you were really gonna die or need health, you could just use those health packs anyways. They really need quite a lot of them. About I've noticed. I'm the very, packs. I, I very rarely ever have like less than. One, but yeah, never yeah really. well, you get three to start off with. So whenever you kill some people, you sometimes yeah. they drop them and they drop them like absolute stink. Like so, there's no real need to have a. They do. Yeah. <laughs> they have so many. Then like, and I think if I, I want to get the cam launcher that has the um, I think Phil uses that uh for the riot phone. I think he has the cam launcher, and then you can like set it on fire. Oh yeah, yeah. The the cam launcher one I want is the riot one. What's that do? Where you, <laughs> the riot phone looks fantastic. You just shoot the ground, and this foam just like goes everywhere. And you ever Does run it on it? Just yeah, yeah. It's like expanding foam, cool. and whenever they run on it, they just get stuck in it, and they're like trying to get out. No, you just want to <laughs> try and mow them down and stuff. I want to get that, and I want to get um, maybe the hive thing to repair people. I like quite like the hive, which is just like that's a, a new one. thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a new one. Yeah, and then there's also the firefly thing that you just chuck, and it just like creates the distraction and whatnot and mm-hmm. stuff so there's plenty to do in the game which I like but I mean like it's sort of daunting at the start yeah you open, especially for you I'm sure whenever you open it you're just like oh god well I like games that like <clears throat> like show you okay this area is this and then you then you'll move here and then you'll yeah. do whatever but you know <clears throat> excuse me the the actual like it's not the size of the map or anything it was more the freedom yeah, well, it sounds really stupid, but because because I literally just started playing it yeah. for the first time, I was sort of like, okay, show me what I have to do. Yeah. Explain what the hell is going on. Because that's one thing, like, you know, there was the, you know, it had that really lovely 
intro uh-huh. video, you know, that was all done up like the internet was gone, and then the yeah. wife, and then the... We survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, then the hyenas came up. Yeah. You know, it's sort of explained, but at the same time, like, I, I, I didn't... Like, I wasn't sort of like, oh, no. Yeah. You know, yeah. because I didn't play Division 1, I was just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, know? but I mean... No, there's nothing really to it. Like, the fact that there is a Division 2 sort of takes away from the fact that you're not sort of doomed. Yeah, like, you... As far as I understand... Were they JFT? Were they in the last game? JTF. JTF? Were yeah, they, in the last they were game? in the last game. Like, and then I'm assuming you've eliminated them in the last game. They were your fellas. Right, well, who were the bad guys in the last game? Um, there was loads of people that were the, the writers and stuff and whatever they they're were. not in this game no, no so I'm assuming all. they were wiped or maybe they were only in New York could be in, only in New York yeah well there is certain gangs and I mean DC it's not really like it's that far away from this was about to say it's not far like that's, yeah. uh, but I didn't want to spoil the game and make sense but like yeah but it's 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 a different game and I think uh, to me it'd be nice if they sort of expanded on certain things you know, if they had, like, the same sort of... Maybe they show up later. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, like, yeah. we've only been... I personally only had, like, I think maybe six or seven hours in the game. Yeah. Um, but it is it's a, it is a lot like Division 1 in, in the sense that the combat's sort of sort of similar. This one's sort of all over the show. You, you shoot sometimes and you're yeah. up in the sky and, like, what's happening here? And then I remember in the first one, actually, that the Magnums had a lot of kickback. Right. And this one, it's not the same. It's, it's, it's they should have kickback. The Magnums are... It's, it's completely yeah they should have kicked back I agree but this one seems to be fine but um, I understand where you're coming from with the whole freedom point of view where you're just like you get into this part you have the missions that are all linear and then they just go you're free to do whatever you fancy it was just it was very quick yeah you know I think what they should have done now maybe they did and I've just not really picked up on it but what they really should have done is is almost give you like a start for dummies so being like okay get to the White House this is your control this is where you live. I think they'll start for dummies. It's division, division one, mate. Possibly, but like, <laughs> you know, some, like start it for example, the start of, I suppose it's maybe silly to hark back to, but Destiny 2, they show you how to play the game. Yeah, they show you how to play. They have tips and all in, in Division 2. Aye, but I mean like, in, in Destiny, they're like, right, you know, you basically play the first mission and they show you, there's a whole part where you use your supers constantly. Yeah. You know, whereas in this, it, it wasn't like... So it's like a tutorial. Yeah. I were well, but, but it's not if you know what I mean because you're playing a mission. So like, but that's during what I the mission, that was what the first mission was for see, a mission too. Well, it sort of was because it was like do this, go to cover, blah Where's blah. Needed, yeah. But it didn't explain to you like, for example, your skills and stuff. Go and do a world event. Yeah. You know that could have been like, you know, you did the first mission, you got the White House. The next thing could have been like, as soon as you walk out the gate, there's your first world event, and you have to try and see. That's funny. That was for me. Well, that's well. If it was for everyone, for example, and then you understand whenever you go on the map, yeah. it pops up saying on your map you will see this symbol. Mm-hmm. This is yeah. a world event, yeah. and then you do that. It's really quick. You move on. You get your experience. Then you do the the next thing. Then it would have been good if once you come out of that, it was like you had to go and get one of the control points. Yeah, and then it would have said on your map, this is a control point. Yeah, this is what you do. You can do this and control. You know, because I was sitting on the field. Like, Why is this guy asking for stuff? Yeah, it's like oh, you can give them stuff to make the thing better. I was like, the settlement that system. was not explained. It is, it is explained. You it's know. just you need to listen. But that's what I mean. Like, they just tell you in it. the dialogue if you put. Do you have subtitles on? Yeah. Mm. But just just make it obvious. Like, don't make me have to like. Oh, I, I have to talk to this guy to understand. <laughs> make it so that like. But that's that's what the beauty of the divisions. Is. I I personally that's not, that's what division for me is all about. You, like. Whenever you go to, you sort of learn things about the game through the people, the NPCs in it. Like you go to certain people and they're like, oh, I'm the person for the Dark Zone, for example. They're like, right, okay. And say if you didn't know who the Dark Zone, what the Dark Zone was, you would go to this person and she or he would explain to you and you'd be like, okay, I understand what that's all about. And then you get like a, not a tutorial, but like a little, like, do you not have like little things that pop up saying like. Three boxes and you press. Yeah, yeah they, they all yeah. tell you what the things are for. I'm not they, reading that. Just what? make it obvious. I don't want to read those. That's too long. Well, that's... <laughs> that's far too much information. I just want to play the game. Just show me how to do it while I'm playing the game. You know, I literally said to Phil, like, I'm skipping most of this stuff because I don't want to read 10 minutes worth of shit on my page. I just want to, like... Oh, dear. It, it Honestly, it literally pops up and it's like, read this whole thing and then move on. I'm like, no, no, no. 
and then it's like I just literally want to go in you know like say as I say you walk out of the I can't remember what you call that first place you go to the base of operations what's after that just like that lively theatre theatre and um, whenever you come out of the theatre for example if she'd been like right cheers for saving her um, do me a favour that because even that it was like do this that was a side mission yeah wasn't it no it was a main mission it was mission. a main mission the main saving mission. yeah it sorry it was mission. it was your first real main mission yeah but then see after that whenever you get back if she'd have been like by the way like if there was like a small cutscene because you watch cutscenes there was a cutscene that's what I mean but if there was a I mean while you're in that cutscene if she was like by the way um, there's I mean if she didn't say it like this but you know if she was like here by the way there's control points out there mm. your next thing is I want you to go and take a control point yeah and then it's shown that way as opposed to read all this information you know I prefer that's only me but I prefer going out doing it and then while you're doing it they're like by the way at the end you know the way it like sort of in some games like Assassin's Creed for example who by the way uh, Ubisoft makes yeah whenever you like view something it zooms out and shows you the area if at the end of for example you're doing a control point it was like shoo, zoomed out showed you what you've done and then the person in your ear, subtitles were coming up saying like, um, great job, um, you know, don't forget to speak to the control point commander, they may need you to bring some stuff. Yeah. And then yeah. that's all you need to do. And then all you need to do is you go to the guy, oh, okay, you need me to bring you this stuff, yeah, no problem. But, but they I skip all that, that by the things though. That's the thing. That's boring. I don't think it's boring, I think. It is, I don't want to read. Uh, here, it's like, like that Arnold Schwarzenegger thing in Simpsons movie. I was elected to lead, not to read. <laughs> no, I don't want to read. I just want to yeah. play the game. Yeah, well, I mean, it's obviously it, it'd be hard to cater for you know like if you could pick and choose, you could have <laughs> the option to have the reading, you could have the option to. But obviously, they the subtitles it just makes sense. Like just to have somebody explain it. Well, they do have the subtitles. They do tell you what they do like, but it's it's not like as if to say right, speak to this guy, hand him this, and that's that. I'm just glad Phil was on because I could just be like, what is this stuff? <laughs> And then he was just like, oh, it's, he explained it in 10 seconds. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I should have done this in-game. But, um, well, they do, but obviously you, boring, you could but... read it in 10 seconds. No, it was big and long. I didn't want to read it. <laughs> and like, like, honestly, but, but the thing is as well, so one of the things, for example, it literally just said, find this guy. And I went and spoke to him and it brought up that screen. I was like, what is this? It brought up the screen of the three boxes. Yeah. I was like, Why, what is this? Mm-hmm. So I was just like, don't want to read it. Who was is it he? The quartermaster? You know, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> to this day, he was somebody in the theatre. No idea. It'd probably a vendor of some sort, maybe, or but, the projects person. But I know what the I know what they all do. Yeah. But that's only because I was like, Phil, what's this compared? Oh, right, this. All right, well, that would have taken ten seconds. You know of hi, I'm blah blah blah. Oh, oh you do you never... say that? No, but like it's it, then it brings up the whole. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna buy into you as a character because you're talking to me and explaining what you do. Yeah. I don't want to read it. I want to buy into that guy. But they do. They, they explain themselves, and then it pops up a little thing telling you what they are, and then they say, "I do this." For oh, the I blood. swear to you, that did not happen for me. I walked up to the guy, pressed. I do this because it's on the back of my controller. Yeah. Pressed A, straight up with the three boxes. You A for the back of your controller. Yep. You're mental. Mine's A and X. You're mental. For a jump? Well, I suppose it's not really jump on that. No, it's for Destiny. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Yeah. No, I mean. But, um, it, it would be it. It's. I it, swear, I literally pressed. I brought up the three things, and I was just like. Nope, and then walked away because I was like, I'm probably not even going to use you. So, but the project person, I used that. I spoke to her because yeah. she actually did speak to me. Yeah. I didn't get three boxes for her. Oh, I just got her talking, and I was like, This is it. Where was this for everyone else? Well, the vendors are sort of self explanatory. I mean, you buy and sell from I, them. I don't, I, I don't even use them, honestly. No, I, I was sort of saying, like, you probably use them in every end game. That's exactly what I like. Phil and I were talking about. He sort of said break your stuff down you don't need the money yeah. use your materials because you're using them in the end game yeah so that's, what, that's what I've been doing as well but it's yeah also how great is selection and then deleting in one go yeah unreal yeah why that does every was, game not have that it was fantastic in D1 it was absolutely brilliant it's so. amazing like I know it's so simple and so yeah. silly like, yeah. but you know you imagine in any other game Anthem Destiny whatever if you could just go any other looter shooter pick 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 delete yeah. one go instead of going hold delete well that's hold, what I thought delete. was going to happen you did the cabal <laughs> the cabal stop there <laughs> um, if they had that for those shooters in Destiny 1 I think they'd be good so they'd have oh. to delete 5 at a time I think it's oh, yeah. Destiny's a different game um, I think with the division it's 
I agree some things should be for I don't know I don't know because they are different in this one there's no there wasn't that sort of stuff in Division yeah. 1 so in this one here you, you sort of do need to have something explained to you like control points and stuff explained mm-hmm. to you but it is sort of it's not rocket science no it's, That's it's, what, it's, I'm not saying I'm sitting here going yeah. you know but it's like one of those that because I've never played it before yeah it should just be let's assume you have no idea what's going on um, because then anybody that can't, does know they can just be like no 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 yeah. skip it and then no, as I say, I played as I say some people will read those yeah. three things because they have the time and effort that they want I am not on the Xbox to read honestly <laughs> I'm not Grim. so like that's why I have books for literally oh dear you know I'm not on the Xbox to read I don't sit there and um, even in Destiny I don't sit there and read the lore I don't yeah. you know I go to buy for that yeah. so but like the and this sounds like I don't like the game I do I just think this particular part should have been better done because any game pretty much you know even an anthem in the first mission you are basically disabled and then you work your suit up what the suit is disabled it is you can't fly and then next thing you're able to fly it shows you how to use the suit yeah and then it explains to you what all the things like you have to go out and do the world stuff yeah it explains what everything is and that's not saying Anthem is particularly great it, at the moment it, is, it isn't at the moment yeah but it's one of those things that as I was playing the game and it is my one annoyance because I, th- I think the rest of the game is brilliant it was my one annoyance that I just couldn't be bothered that's probably my fault but I just couldn't be bothered to read I just don't understand why they didn't make it I in think a way you might that... have to learn now because the majority of this game will be reading for you I don't think so no it will be you boys are just going to have to tell me because <laughs> honestly I well, just <laughs> with the likes of the crafting and modding and stuff you have to read that'll be different yeah fair and enough and then with but... your skills you have to read how to use them and what they do that is... <laughs> see to be honest see whenever I came to picking the second skill the first skill I picked was like the carrying more health packs and then um are we talking about oh, perks you mean the perks yeah that was the first thing I picked and then skills what I can recommend for you to do is to invest all your SHD tech into your XP area first of all I don't know what that means you'll know whenever I'll right. I'll tell you what to do see well you're gonna have to you don't <laughs> you read go. obviously you, you don't read the, like, the uh, things it, honestly it was just as I say it was one it's not that hard it's like four areas and you go down there's like eight things to, to put in it's not that you no. just need to read them and tell, tell, tell in a little summary it goes XP boost get headshots oh no I've got that one I've got that one then invest it all in that one Why? all in that one because you get XP for headshots multi kills killing elite enemies oh and then I'll put your level up faster yeah yeah. yeah. Fair invest into that first of all I do only, have the first one it only takes five all together so it's one 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 oh okay cool then yeah I'll do that because and then, then use all yeah. some you can, I went in for the mods and stuff but I sort of regret it now because some of the mods are like you add a magazine and it takes like minus reload time but adds like or takes away critical hit chance right, or something okay. yeah. which is kind of silly don't understand why that's a thing you put a scope on which creates better accuracy yeah. but takes away 10% critical hit Damn. damage Okay. Most so I was like, "Well, that's kind of silly, but okay." Counterintuitive. Yeah, right. exactly. You're yeah. you're aiming it. You're you're looking to get a better shot on them, but you can't be enough. Ten percent less chance. Yeah. yeah. So I put I put a different scope most sniper like, but they're all things you can. I mean, you're gonna get the amount with the amount of the tech you find in that one yeah. area. You'll have enough to fill out the perks in no time. Like, no, I have to say I I do like it, and um, like whenever I started doing. It just it made sense whenever you started doing the yeah um the, the different world events and whatever it was good uh, I quite like well, the the loot drops not too bad because you can see what you have straight away yeah I'm stuff. still I'm still waiting on a nice little blue drop yet I have one blue I have a blue but it wasn't it wasn't through it was through um Ubisoft store I bought that I got some subby that's what I got through Ubisoft store but it's I don't use it yeah it's like only like a level two or something. But I don't understand why it's blue on level two. That's the thing that I'm not massively sure on. I haven't really understood, really picked up on how the loot works yet. Because I'm still using... The only weapon I particularly like is my MK17. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty much all I use. Yeah. Um, Don't use a pistol at all. And then basically I like it's like a level... I might, I think I'm only level five or six or something. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's like a level two. Yeah. And I do have weapons that are four. But I don't want to use them. 
Does that matter? Um, only for damage, really. I mean, it's it's your level that's the main thing, but it'll tell you <clears throat> whenever you're playing. It'll pop up saying you have a weapon you're using that's currently under leveled. Oh, it'll tell me. It'll tell you. Well, I haven't said that yet, so that's fine. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're using a weapon that's four and you're level five. It doesn't matter, or six. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But I mean, once you reach the higher levels, like the likes of you know sixteen, seventeen, yeah, using eight, a two isn't fifteen to twenty. Up. Using a two isn't going to help you much, like yeah. or using a four. But yeah. throughout that time, you will get better weapons and stuff. It just, I mean, I haven't yet, but I will at yeah. some point. Yeah. But the thing I like about, like I said earlier, but the whole freedom thing is that you can create your own path. Yeah. You know, I I like games that aren't in here. You know, like the likes of you know Destiny, where you could you literally mm-hmm. are you follow the story, it tells you where to then go, what you plan to your go free to, stuff. Yeah. then you get your free stuff. I do like that, but in yeah. Division Two, I like the fact that you've done your you've done your stuff at the start. You've helped people out. Now you are Division Three to do whatever you want to do to help the world. You go out there, you take whatever control point you fancy, and then they become a fast travel point, which is great. Yeah, it's good. And yeah. then I do they, like that. Yeah, fast travel is really handy. Yeah. yeah. Um, so usually what I would do is I would go around and get all the SHD techs as well while I'm around mm-hmm. there and then I go to say a side mission I just plan a nice little route yeah so you're almost that's almost what I did like for example just before I went off I was like one of them near me yeah. and then I would pause it and then check and then, well not pause it bring up the map and check and whatever so it makes it um, it makes it easy going from like mission to side mission to whatever yeah. so like you know, you see, you finished the mission, then you walk out the world event, then you look down, and there's a, I don't know, what do you call them, SHDs? The tech things? Yeah, yeah you yeah, do yeah. a tech one. And the next thing, you've done three things, and you've gone exactly the direction you want to go anyway. Yeah. So it's cool, it's handy. It's class. I think all in, I'm excited for the division. I think it's going to be I'm a very, I'm very fun game. Well. Yeah, it's, it seems to be, pre- <laughs> it's a lot more promising than other games of, uh, that we have spoken out. about, that we were excited about. And yeah. Just unfortunately haven't uh, cut the mustard as they say. Which is kind of it is it is sad, like, but we'll um we'll get into that at some point in our future podcast. We'll we've already got a couple of plans for a couple of these things, so we'll, mm-hmm. we'll get to that in a future podcast. But we'll uh, end part one there, folks, and we'll catch you soon. back to part two as you know this is the what's trending sort of part of the podcast and boy have i got a couple of things for you today <laughs> okay um i don't know if you watch the news or anything no um the i don't watch time. the news but i do keep up to date with uh like political events and stuff a lot yeah so lot things, yeah. you wouldn't have heard about the mice then where um i assume it's in england but he's uh been tidying up this fella's garage oh sorry shed I, I did. He thought it was a ghost. Yeah, Gloucestershire. Yeah, uh, I I've now I don't know what the mouse uh, has done, but I do know there was a guy who set up a camera. Uh huh. But that is the catch. It. Yeah. Because he, he thought it was a ghost. Yeah. So basically, the this little mouse was coming in. There's a little video. Right. Um, it just I never watched in. the video now. I haven't, the video? No, I haven't seen the video now. I'll uh I'll sort of play it while I'm talking to you here. Uh-huh. But, um, basically the mouse comes into the shed and I mean does what it says in the tin just cleans up why is it doing that I don't I don't, honestly don't know I mean I love for some sort of you know, it's putting it in the bucket it's putting it in the bucket yeah in a little box and all yeah it's strange like very very strange but I like the way it says in the, the tagline saying keep in Gloucester, Gloucestershire squeaky clean and it's like, <laughs> oh, very, good. Good play on very mice very mice I don't know if anyone could pe- pick up the N there, but he said very mice, and I'm, I hate that already. I love it. It's Puns nice. are terrible for me. That's but, um, amazing. Look yeah, at I'd, I'd love to know exactly why he was doing it. Like, it's a, it could be one of those like burrowing things, you know, for like the winter or something. Oh yeah, but obviously it's like not any time. Yeah, but I don't know so when that was shot. It's like heavy. Yeah, I know. But That's I so mad that it's just lifting that. I don't know why he was doing it in the first or or she whatever sort of the place. Yeah, whatever it is, I have no idea. That's class. I think, I mean, it'd be kind of cool if there was like a, an animal expert that came in and said, well, the reason why it was doing it was, you know... They're just very tidy creatures. You're very messy. They're just very tidy. You just say they're very tidy creatures. Yeah. Mice are cleaner than you and you're disgusting. That's pretty much what he's going to say. But no, that that is class. Like, the wee... Um, I thought video was really cool. Anybody that hasn't watched that video should totally watch it. Yeah, it's on anywhere. I mean, literally, if you just type in, like, you know, mice cleaning up shed or whatever, it'll be... <laughs> <laughs> it'll be on it's somewhere. just the way it, like it's 
it looks as if it's literally looking for the next thing to yeah, put in the thing. It could be building Lego. Oh, you man. never know. But no. I mean, the fact that it made like English news, it was on ITV. <laughs> like, I, 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 we were all eating our dinner and we just turned around. This mouse has been causing quite a stir in this guy's shed. I was like, as if there's nothing is this else. the news? As if there's nothing else that needs to be spoken about. But and, and I know we're only on podcast and stuff, so we're not going to have like you know the creme de la creme of news stories because no. we're, we're not a newscast <laughs> yeah, no, no. but uh, I think that's pretty cool to that's have. funny isn't it that's mice like basically like or rodent like two of the three we've done of these oh yeah remember it got stuck well, in the mouth it was a mouse it was a mouse was it not I thought it was a rat but either way it was a rodent it's a rodent yeah, yeah. That's, that's maybe we just call ourselves the rodent cast this is the bit in the middle um, <laughs> but yeah we'll, we'll leave that one behind um, don't know if you're a big fan of Bill and Ted I haven't seen them, oh, but I, I do know uh, the line, which is like excellent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I am totally. It's excited. Keanu Reeves and who? Uh, Tony Martin. Okay. I think his name is. Could have absolutely butchered that way, but I think his name is Tony Martin anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, obviously Keanu Reeves is the the the, the bigger star yeah. in, in that term, but um. Alex Winter, sorry, completely not what his Alex name is. Winter. Alex Winter and Ken yeah. Reese, yeah. So they released a little video of the day just sort of being like... Is it confirmed as happening? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Finally, after this... Like, I don't even know when the last one was made. But it's the same guys making it. It's the same Team. writers and stuff. Cool. And they're all coming back, so they're going to stay true to the, the franchise, thankfully, which is kind of yeah. cool. But it was two Bill and Ted's, like, and they were just that as is, good as each other. That they're, is good. Brilliant. But I'm intrigued to see what way Keanu comes back because Alex Winter just seems like he's a radical person. Anyway, he's class, he's yeah. funny. Uh, whereas Keanu Reeves is more of the um, sort of shy type. Uh, in real life, you in mean? In real or? life, yeah. Whereas now he's, back in the day, he was young. Um, uh-huh. He was an you know, up and coming actor, which is sort of, you would take any role then mm. and you would try your best to you know, be the best out of it. Yeah. Um, and then obviously now he's changed into more of an action sort of role. He's a bit of a badass, isn't he? Yeah. So he also has had a real hard time. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. I mean, like he went from like the likes of Bill and Ted straight into the likes of Speed and Matrix. Matrix. Like he's been an action star the majority of his career yeah. now. I think. Um, I bet yeah, that's real nice though to like be able to go from something very serious and like, well, not, maybe not serious, but intense mm-hmm. to something a bit more funny, and then you go sort of full circle and. Plus, we all know like he is Hollywood's nice guy. Like, there's a story there. I think maybe last week, week before that, he was on a subway and stood up to let a lady sit down. Oh yeah, that's right. That's just right. a nice story. Yeah. That, yeah. Really nice guy. It was an actual. It was a meme I seen going around. It was just like a uh, actor or hated actors meeting or no, what was it? Oh man, I butchered it now. <laughs> it's dead. Oh man, what was it? Well, it was basically like. Most loved actors or something stupid. It was just like him by in a room by himself on his own. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, that's pretty true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm 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 looking forward to see what way that sort of. What's the, what are they about? Bill and <laughs> they're basically well, so like bogus journeys. One isn't it? Yeah, bogus. Oh, for the life of me, I can't remember what the other one's called. I thought the first one was Bill and Ted Great Adventure or something. Excellent adventure, I think Excellent it was called. Adventure. Yeah. But uh, basically, they. I don't know why I know this. I've never seen them. You should. You should watch them. But like them. that's insane. That's that's in my head. But yeah. I've never seen them. It's. I mean, they're they're like they're they're not amazing films. Yeah. By any stretch, like, but they are very very funny and. When were they out? You know. Eighties, no. like if he. Really. Late eighties, probably. Yeah, but oh. basically they were just. Um. They were doing the history report, and the Grand Reaper finds them and has this. Uh, it's got a name what does the movie Bill Ted 3 has a name yeah Since w- oh it, no it does you're right do you know no face, uh, face the music face the music I, I okay. heard earlier on Bill and oh sorry <laughs> Bill and Ted's excellent adventure Bill and Ted's bogus, bogus journey. journey so it's 89, 91 91? <laughs> yeah wow and then 20, 20 that's, that's crazy 29 that? years unbelievable that's unbelievable isn't it? that but, is um, class yeah, they, so they basically get this... Um, William Shatner? Oh, Sadler, I read that. No, one. definitely not. It's the, it's the Grim Reaper. Yeah, I yeah, know. So he comes, gives him this... Um, tele- this portin, first one? Yeah, teleporting uh, telephone box. And they go to different eras. The Doctor Who universe? Pretty much, yeah. Oh my word, imagine that ended up like canon. Oh, that'd be funny, like, wouldn't it? Keanu Reeves becomes Doctor Who. That'd be hilarious. And he's talking like this. 
<laughs> hey! Uh, yeah, he's so funny in it, like, but uh, yeah, so they bring in like the next Napoleon and stuff and all back, and what? oh man, it's honestly one of the most radical movies. Well, this journey seen. sounds about right. Oh. It literally is, yeah. It's so just... they sell the phone box in the second one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty sure they do anyway. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see that one. It's 2020 though, so. It's quite next a while year. away, but... next year. Like, you think about it, it felt like in, uh, Infinity War was like, oh, we've got to wait ages for the next one, and next thing, end games in like three weeks. I know. It's kind of, it's strange. So, like, I'm hoping to see Captain Marvel before that, though. You need to. Yeah, I sort of do, don't it, Mostly for the post credit scene. Yeah. Um, there's one on that you're just like, oh. But uh, it just gets you hyped. But then the actual film itself, um, you sort of... You need to see a film to understand how powerful she is. Oh no, I I understand. You know what I mean? No, but yeah. the way it it's different in the movie than it is in the book. So like, the way that they portray her. I yeah, I won't even say anything more. People okay. probably haven't seen it. No, you haven't seen it. But like, the way they portray her in the books is different than she is in the movie. Yeah. And then you'll understand why whenever you see the film, basically. Okay. So, well, fair it's enough, good. I have to say, I enjoyed it. But anyway, I am looking forward to it. Um. The last little one is the, obviously the, you've heard in the I don't know on the, like Facebook, Twitter, whatever. But remember years ago, that fellow <coughs> that had the guy from Australia that had like the whole dog thing, where he it was like it was just oh, the old man, the old man with the dog thing. Well, he can bound and over. He can yeah. bound and over. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I've he, seen that. I've never seen it. I've seen, I've heard he's done a new one, but I've never seen. It's terrible. Like, but um, does he? Is it a legit new one or what happened? Yeah, it's a legit new one. I mean, he, he was he on the news again. Yeah, he was on the he was on the news again. Um, for what I have no idea, but right. um, huh? Right. So yeah. he just did it. Yeah, he just he was just talking away, and then they were like, um, "Can you give us?" Uh, oh no. A rendition of kind of. Is there one? Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. it here. I've got it here. Hang on, I'll just I'll just pause it and yeah. turn up the volume for you. So. Well, I I like to think that I've still got it. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a classic. Thank you so much, Ray. Honestly. Classic spot. I mean, the guy... <laughs> the wrong. guy... The guy, like, I mean, why on earth would you go on to the news? But then again, you got the guy with the Viral. whole... The, yeah. yeah. Virality is just a big thing yeah. there, like, isn't it? It's, Viral. It's so strange, like, but... I like to think oh, I'm still going it. Yeah. Can <laughs> you try it for us? <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so strange, like, but... Uh, it is mad, though, that he was legit serious the first time he ever did that. Oh, yeah, but Surely. he just see his wife. And his wife was like, oh, God, he's doing it. He's doing it. Because <laughs> no going happening? back now. But, yeah, after that, I was like, can you edit that out? No. Absolutely not. Not a die, man. That was life. <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable. But, um... Yeah, so those are the, the top three trending things for me anyway. So we'll uh, we'll end that part there and we'll catch you in part three. Welcome back to part three. Um, so today, the big news came out with Stranger Things 3, trailer. Yes, yes. Which is... A long time, like we didn't get any Stranger Things in twenty eighteen, which is kind of sad. I didn't notice. Well, no, that's terrible. But I I don't know why, but I just assumed season two was out last year. No, uh, but I, well, I, it was one of those. It feels as though I've just finished, still just finished season two. Do you know what happened in, in season two? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, then that's fine. I do remember, like, yeah. I have to say one thing I don't remember is where Dustin. Yeah. Where he went Dusty. at the end. Of, yeah. Season two, yeah. I don't remember that, but like I do remember the whole dance thing and stuff. And, and yeah, where she kissed him. And yeah, whatever. but like he kissed him, she kissed her. Yeah, yeah. but uh, no, I like I like the end of season two because it, it really got me going, and then <laughs> not like that, <laughs> not the kisses, not the kisses, <laughs> not that sort of stuff. They were like fourteen, and they're only really sixteen. Put in a register for that yeah, sort of no, stuff. For, for hang on, for less. <laughs> My dad. Uh, look at Michael Jackson's show. Oh, yeah. um, but uh, that would actually be a pretty good podcast to talk about. You know, Michael Jackson's 
Leave in Neverland would be pretty cool to talk I about. actually need to watch it. I haven't watched it yet either. Or there's two parts. Two parts. It'll be two parter, yeah. Um yeah. like this trial. Yeah. So <laughs> well uh yeah, so not 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 that part, not the kisses part, because that's weird. I mean like the ending where the upside down the creature was standing over the the dance, the winter dance and stuff. Yeah. Hashtag spoiler. Yeah. If no one's ever watched that. That's for like the light now and stuff and, it goes, and then you see all the the big, big monster big. and just like oh, yeah. and then they just decided to have no Stranger Things in 2018 so do you think that'll be picked up on because it looks to me from watching the trailer like there's a jump in years well it's yeah I mean like is there gonna be like a start which is like two years later but then at the same but I think it's just the age because then at the same time Dustiny is or Dustin whatever his name is <laughs> Dustiny Dustiny Dustin comes back and like he says at the start of the trailer to the turtle <coughs> at least somebody missed me or something like that yeah he did like say that. and then all the toys move and whatever which I thought was quite clever because yeah. I, I have to admit at that point I was like oh mm. something's happening yeah. yeah I thought it was quite good but like the um, but you know whenever he says that he could have just been gone for three weeks two months six months well, I like to think that the fact that they've obviously aged what by two years. I At mean, because twenty seventeen was the end of yeah. October twenty seventeen. I think it was. When did they When did they film this though? I would assume twenty eighteen. So they would have been they would have been fifteen yeah. in it. But obviously, I mean, they are, they, are, they look quite old. I I age. think they look considerably older than season one. Yeah. Like if they were to try and pass it off as. But it's like Harry Potter all over again. But Harry Potter, they age with the years in the school. Yeah. So, like, they never looked older than they were. They should have been. Yeah, yeah, like, or, sorry, than they should have been. Yeah. Obviously, they didn't look older than they were. But, like, you know, in... I know they have, like, this amazing stuff where they can, like, de-age people. You'll see that in Captain Marvel. They do it so well. Like, I thought it was really good. Oh, CGI, you mean? Yeah. Oh, but, like, Nick Fury. And also Coulson. Oh, I've seen that. I've actually already seen I, that. I think it's very good. I think um, um, I think Phil actually, or what do you call him? The posted, actual actor posted something on Twitter. Oh, Clark Gregg. Clark Gregg. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Yeah, I'd say I thought it was very good. It looks very very good. Yeah, yeah. but um, and also they did it obviously in Rogue One. That was the first time it was really ever uh-huh. tried, where they sort of de-aged and whatever. But like, um, anyway, but the, to me they, I don't know. I don't really know if how they can pass that off. Do you know what I mean? I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I would, I would assume they'd have to have some sort of, you know, like a break that makes sense because you couldn't just be like, yeah, they just finished this like two weeks ago. Yeah, but then again, it was Winona the writer's hair is quite long as well. In the yeah, trailer, so was those elevens. Yeah, that's true. But her hair was getting longer. It was getting yeah. longer, yeah. But sure, she went through the whole emo phase, didn't she? Yeah, that's true. Um, but it, it ended in the winter dance. So it could be six months. It could be six Seven months. months. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine it being a year in six See, months. Yeah. I mean, to me, like, as I say, I was half expecting it to start with, like, 18 months later. Yeah. But then, as I say, whenever I'd seen that his turtle and stuff was still alive, unless... His parents been doing it whenever he was gone, or his mum, I think he just has whenever yeah. he was gone. But yeah. um, it's one of those series that I really enjoy whenever it comes out, but I don't think I'll ever watch it again. It's I think it, it all depends on what sort of way it finishes. I think now because we have the point now where it's it's it, it just stem from these kids playing, you know, D and D in the in the basement, and this whole thing becoming. A reality and the yeah. Demogorgon being a real thing, even though they, they called it the Demogorgon and stuff. Yeah, it all stemmed from that. It all stemmed from that. There and now it's just brought us into this new world where we're just we don't really know what's going to be next, what's going to happen next. And I hope, yeah, I hope true. it does. And I hope the next, you know, the next couple of seasons, if there are any more, you know, after three, that um, they do grip our attention and stuff, and we can, we can, sort of build on that from what other series have sort of given us like like, Game of Thrones you'd probably be able to watch them over again oh I've watched Game of Thrones multiple times yeah so like on the likes of like even with like Sunny and stuff you'd watch them watch that more than once yep Um, watch it on Morty three or four times I think you need to be in the the right mood to watch Stranger Things as well like I think 
I think you could you could sit down and watch Sunny anytime and just have a laugh with it. I think that's because see for me like a show that's twenty minutes long. Yeah, I can really watch. Like I'm on. I'm nearly finished the Office. Right? Mm-hmm. We spoke about that a few weeks ago. Yeah. I'm nearly finished. I'm only a few episodes away from the end of series nine. Yeah. In fact, the last time we spoke about it, I think I was in series five. You're ahead of me. Yeah, so it just goes to show you how close, yeah. how quickly you can get through you yeah. know, 20 minute episodes. Whereas a 40 minute, 50 minute episode, you're committing yeah. to, you know, I'm usually at home from at the very most, say, the back, like, most amount of time I'm going to have at home is between like 6 and, say, 11. Yeah. When I go to bed, it's 5 hours, say, yeah. I eat for an hour of that, including prep and cleaning up, whatever. I'm committing to like twenty five percent of my free time to yeah. one episode or something. It's it's it is tough, like, but I'm glad that I've got a girlfriend that watches it with me now, so I don't have that sort of like time where I mean I would I would have like forty minutes just be like I could watch one episode. Yeah. But then I don't because I'm like, well, if I watch, you know what I mean? Like you, you can't once well, you Rachel watch. Rachel watches it with me. We, we yeah, watch it together. That's, yeah, that's, but that's like that's, that's only when it's out. Like we won't rewatch it. I think I might rewatch it if. Oh, I don't know, that was. Did you hear that there? Yeah. Like my lip was slapped <laughs> off my teeth there. I don't know what happened. Um, if, oh, did I kid? If the uh, if season three is you know insanely good, if it definitively ends, yeah, I might go back. Yeah, and then rewatch it all in yeah. one because yeah. that'd be something. I think I'd like to do it with with any season. Like I think obviously with Sons, I ended up catching up with the season. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. And then I rewatched it again yeah. with, when all the seasons were out, which is class. And then I rewatched it again with Lauren. Got like so season good. six or something. I was like, oh, I'm stopping. Yeah. Because it was just it was just getting to the point where I was like, right, this is this is great series and stuff. But yeah. I mean, she she was sort of losing interest as well, which is kind of sad. But um, <coughs> That's a hard thing for me. We, me and her only got the part way through season two, maybe. Mm. And she was just like, uh, yeah, I get it. Everybody kills everybody, and that's like it. It's pretty much the end of it. Like, yeah. But and I was just like, "Well, you just ruined it." So. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's not a hard thing to grasp, like. But I think with Stranger Things, that we don't we don't exactly know what's gonna happen now because the yeah, the trailer. They beat it? Can they beat it? Can they beat? Yeah. Well, you know that's the thing. Or can you know the one thing you, I don't think you... they can do is kill her again. No. Or make you think she's dead again. Yeah. I don't think they can do that. I just don't understand what they can do in another world. Because these things have been living there since God knows how long. Same alone. <laughs> yeah, but they don't. They won't leave them alone though. Well, look at Will. He's he's constantly. He's just he's attached to that world no matter where he goes. Now is he still spitting slugs at the end of the series three? No, but he's still three. mental. Mm. He's still got the thing inside him. Yeah. So that's still, right. They tried to like burn it out of him. Didn't mm-hmm. they? He yes. still has like visions and stuff, yeah. and he can still see certain things that other people can't. I mean, the fact that like. The thing I love about it so much is that they all see the world mm-hmm. as it is, and then he sees something completely different. That's right. It's like a big flash sometimes. Yeah. And then next and thing he's, he's upside he's down. away basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they're all just like, "Yeah, all right." But the thing is that they're oblivious. You know, apart from yeah. Evan, she would obviously she would obviously know. Um, Will was able to tell. T- not Will. Wolf Hard plays him. Finn Wolf Hard. Yeah. What's his character's name? Oh my god! I know it's gone completely in my head. How he we... was able to tell sometimes. Yeah. In this series two, mm-hmm. um, the things weren't right. Yeah, the things weren't right. Yeah. But eleven and stuff, he, he got quite a special bomb with eleven. Oh my word! What is his name? I I know, because she says it loads of times in the in the microphone in the the walkie yeah. talkie. That's so bad, isn't it? That we just forgot his name. I have name. to look that up. What's going to do my head? Huh? That's actually so bad. We forgot his name. You know, it's not. It's obviously... I know his real name, but I just can't get his. Yeah, but Finn Wolfhard's a very you know yeah, name to, to remember. Yeah. Like I mean, Wolfhard for me is like <laughs> right, right on top of that. Like, but um, I think... oh, Mike, 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 Mike. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot that because I always think Mike and Ike's and everything. It is so highly rated on IMDb. Eight point nine, isn't it? That's crazy. Yeah. Like... yeah. But so I mean, Netflix highly. have got all these good things. Like they're all class. I mean, Netflix have got a new thing coming out called Black Black Summer. I think it's called or something, which mm-hmm. is the new zombie thing. Oh yes, I'd seen that. Um, I hadn't seen the trailer, but I did see the Netflix the is just thing. killing it right now. Like it's crazy. Then again, look at Disney. They went and bought Fox, so they're gonna be it's done. Oh, that is gonna be good. They're gonna throw everything they've got. They've even got like like a family guy and all that, <laughs> which Excellent. is kind of insane to think about. Really, I think they'll keep that as a separate entity though. Like. All those sort of things, like I don't think they'll 
not really do much about those. But like, you think of what that means. I think the the main reason they bought it, I reckon, is for the Marvel universe. Oh no, definitely. Um, almost certainly. Well, they've got they've got um, X Men, and they've also I mean, they've got the Silver Surfer as well. Now Spider Man. No Sony. Spider Man. Sony yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. Um, but they've got what was it X Men? Who else have they got? Deadpool. Yeah. So they're they've got loads. They've got loads of people. They've got any gods amount of things they can do now, which is to me, I don't know, is it too late? No. No. I think once Dark Phoenix comes out, um Oh yeah, jeez, I'm fairly, back fairly fairly as well. Yeah. I mean I always like X Men though, so Yeah, I have enjoyed the films, but like <gasps> don't you dare because Endgame's coming out, it's just gonna be overshadowed. It's really poor timing. Even. That's what I'm saying, is it too late? It's, yeah. I think it's Oh too- sorry, yeah, I mean I, I don't know like I think see for me I don't think anybody I think whoever's going to be Wolverine next is going to struggle yeah they can't beat they can't this beat is like that. trying to take over from Sir Alex Ferguson it is going to they're going to struggle like yeah. um, but I I don't think I think you know it opens up the opportunity for Avengers versus X-Men it opens up for uh, X-Men OG films you know there's yeah. there's so much that they can do and then obviously um just Fox in general, you know, like technically Alien, I'm pretty sure is a, I consider it a Disney movie. Okay. Which is not nuts. Disney movie. It's uh, Disney uh, property. Disney property, yeah. But I mean, if anyone's going to start calling Aliens a Disney film, there's something serious. Disney Prince. <laughs> Disney Prince <laughs> Alien. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it is a bit too late now. I think now that Endgame's come out, uh, well, coming out anyway, and we sort of got to the, the end of that time period yeah I think it is a bit too late now that they're going to start bringing it I mean they're going to be great films I'm sure of it um, but I just think it is too late in terms of you could have had so many things in between that there that you mm. could have you could have at least stretched that out for another couple of years well the only thing is are you talking Marvel still yeah the only thing is is that see once this ends mm. however Endgame ends it just brought a random thought to my head what if Tony Stark in the ship isn't at the start of the film. It probably isn't. What if that is at the end? Of the end. Yeah, it's a possibility, yeah. They and that they've coming. just not told us that. Yeah. And that, in fact, where you see Tony walking through in that suit in the trailer, uh-huh. that is at the start. Yeah. And that he hasn't been rescued by that point. And the just end. A, just a thought. Yeah. He's ended up in a, uh, using the quantum realm in an alternate timeline. Yeah. And that is him. Yeah. That's where he's gonna die. By the road. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, random thought. But anyway, um, the only thing is, there's essentially at the end of this, there's gonna be a small reboot, for want of a better word. Yeah. Um. So now is the time if they're gonna do it, is to bring the X Men in now. Yeah. Um. And just incorporate whatever they want, whatever they can, and I think eventually, instead of be an Avengers solo there and always being a bad guy there could be the Avengers versus X-Men which would be like a different version of Civil War yeah which would be pretty cool yeah I mean you can easily do these films it's just they don't need to be in the same timeline either because it's not like it's you can just no, they've opened it up yeah so you can pretty much do whatever you want exactly um, and I would I would love to know as well have they bought haven't bought Fox or haven't been in the process of buying Fox yeah. does that mean there's going to be a surprise character in Endgame perhaps that Fox owned well, I wonder, technically now it is new but I wonder if they had known this day was going to happen before Endgame was done because I don't think they could have had the rights to film said person well that's the thing like you think Spider-Man's in it they just paid for him oh yeah right enough mm. yeah it's true they, well should be in it but they've just paid for him and then shortly after Endgame we have well, they Spider-Man, just from for, for the lot for Infinity War anyway. So and Civil matter. War and his own movie. No, Sony did that. The Spider-Man movie? Yeah. But it's still released under Marvel's hood because sure took Robert Downey Jr. and all that. Oh, yeah, no, right enough, actually. Yeah, it's true. Like Sony released like Venom. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so it was decent. Like, it was alright. Like, it wasn't great, but um, I mean, it was, it, was, it was a Marvel film, I suppose, in the end of the film. Yeah, but again, I think they need like see you know what Disney need to do. They just need to bring the family together here, buy those films, buy the just go to Sony and be like, look. I don't think Sony's want. gonna because I mean I I seen a meme right after <clears throat> the uh, Fox deal was done, 
and it was just Sony with like tears coming off the logo uh-huh. which is I mean what, what see, have they got left they've, they've got those characters but see honestly I just don't understand why I'm sure they will and maybe they're working on it but I wouldn't be surprised if Disney went to them now and we're just like look just give us the characters yeah. we'll give you whatever you need yeah. you know they've, it, they've essentially got unlimited money like you know you think of 70 billion for Fox wasn't it that was something ridiculous 72 billion or something it was billion it's huge but they'll make their money back in you know 6 or 7 years probably I think probably less than that yeah probably less you think if of, they bring out more films than they, they can handle I mean yeah. Endgame will bring in over a billion at the box office and that's excluding merchandise yeah um and then obviously your next film Far From Home probably bring 700 million in you know? well I think what they're doing I think it's it's very admirable because they're doing this for obviously for themselves for financial gain yes for but the fans though. for the fans I mean, it's the main thing for the fans they're like, like totally on board I know you know I'm leaving myself open to be shot at here but I am totally on board with everything Disney do honestly I know people don't like the way they've handled Star Wars and you know people don't like the way they're um, buying everything they, they just do but you know what see if it's good for the fan I'm fine with it 100% yeah. I am fine with and it and their new streaming so, service as well having all these things on top of it and it's, uh, fair enough you're, you're buying I will, I will pay for those yeah. that streaming service if they have <coughs> all this everything. on it you know if yeah. you include um, the, the guys who did Game of Thrones yeah. um, apparently their series is going to be like Old Republic style okay which would be amazing that is kind of cool you know, if you think Knights of the Old Republic but a TV show yeah I'm on board yeah you know John Favreau's Mandalorian it'll be on the Disney streaming service as well yeah I think so um, but you know the cast is class yeah like it's so. it's all it's all looking up from here like but I, like I do I do hope Sony get on board with with Disney it's quick, you know what that's fine you guys are doing well blah 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 yeah. I don't think Sony would make half as much money as what Disney would with the film Possibly Absolutely. not, but at the end of the day, like they've probably still made six hundred million on Venom, and there's gonna be a Venom two. They're Keep making Venom. money off, <laughs> making money off selling the rights to Superman to Disney. You know they could do that for the next twenty years. You know, it probably would be because Spider Man, you know, it's a huge character. So, wait, they're buying Superman as well. Did I say Superman? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I meant Spider-Man. I was going to say, they're going to go to the DC Universe as well? I don't think so. I, I think, think Marvel's... They'll leave Warner Brothers with that. And yeah, have think... fun with that, guys. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, the fact that Suicide Squad's going to be a complete reboot. That was, like, what, By two, James Gunn, two, though. two, three years ago? But I think the fact that they're making a reboot of a film that's only been out once. Like, it's different with a series of films, like, three times, four times. Yeah, but the film has been like out once. Ago. Yeah, I know. That's nuts. But the fact that it's only been out once, there's only one of them, and it's a reboot already. Yeah, dreadful. You yeah. you can just tell, and I think Idris Elba is apparently playing uh, Deadshot. Deadshot. It's kind of cool. But is Margot Robbie coming back? Don't care. You know she was smart. she was terrible as Harley Quinn. No, she was alright. No, to be honest, I thought her and Will Smith were pretty good. I never minded the Joker, and that never he never bothered me. Jared Leto. I, I just didn't some get people it. really hated him, <clears throat> but I just sort of thought, you know what, Joker can be whatever you want. That's the beauty of that character. He is just weird. Yeah, but I don't think Jared Leto's weird enough. I thought he did alright. Like, his laugh and all was pretty uncomfortable. Um, but I just think the film was poor. Yeah. So it's th- very... It was very... Um, what's the word? Like... Uh, it's not very thrown together. It was it. thrown together. What's the, it was like, like... Like anarchy. Yeah. It was like an yeah. anarchy spin on Suicide. I know the Suicide Squad yeah, are anarchists at heart, but they all just seemed like it was like... It was like Mad Max put in. I, I felt like there was not really much direction. To the film. Yeah, there wasn't like, really much. I don't think you personally. Know, it was, it was, uh, just next thing, friggin', there was a break in and he yeah. was out of prison, she was out of prison. You're like, what? Yeah. You know, it's... The thing that's most annoyed me out, out of Suicide Squad, the the Suicide Squad is what the film's going to be called, mm-hmm. is the fact that they've managed to nab James Gunn and Guardians. Well, he's still just, doing Guardians. Huh? He's back in for Guardians. He's back in for Guardians now? Guardians 3. It was released last week. Oh man, happy days. He's doing Guardians 3. Oh, that's fine, I'm happy then. Yeah, he's doing Guardians 3 and uh, they're also replacing Ben Affleck as Batman confirmed. I know that. That's, it's... So DC's been going for what? Six years? Maybe the films? When was Man of Steel? Like 14? Five uh, years? Yes. Five, six years, say. And um, they're replacing their Batman already. Like, I just... I just don't get it. I, I like it. I just feel as if that 
franchise is just it just needs a good look at I just don't think it's one you know they've tried to be a Marvel but I think and it just hasn't you know just hasn't happened. you know throwing together Justice League after like two films yeah what are you doing Shazam looks fun though it does look fun it looks yeah. fun I, I think if superhero films the, the Dark Knight series the trilogy of yeah uh, Christian Bale yeah it worked because everyone was ready for real hard hitting you know Dark this stuff. is drama this yeah. is you know badass superhero yeah whereas like I don't think DC can tap into that in the same way while creating a universe around it yeah <coughs> it won't <coughs> it won't work <coughs> where um you know don't get me wrong there are some you know sad moments in Marvel films there's some dark moments in Marvel films people die all the rest you have to have it though but there's always the even in Deadpool I have it there's a, yeah there's just a, well, yeah there's just there's just always that thing in a Marvel film there's that X factor that brings you back whereas whilst I enjoyed Man of Steel quite enjoyed that film yeah. didn't mind Batman vs Superman um, Suicide Squad was not good yeah um, Wonder Woman was alright probably the best of the lot I think. I think it was probably the best out of the three Justice League was terrible see I the weird thing is like whenever it comes to Marvel films I feel like they are really good storytellers mm. and they tell each story individually and very, you know they're going well. somewhere yeah exactly they're part of a bigger exactly. story exactly whereas yeah. the DC films would have this is this bit action that leads into this bit he's travelling somewhere she comes back kills some people yeah. or hits some people or whatever and then it's like the end, it's the big boss battle, and then it's the end of the film. Oh, here's Batman versus Superman, and also Wonder Woman. So we're actually only really missing two of the Justice League, but yeah. enjoy that, and then we're gonna bring out a Justice League film that has those two that are missing. Yeah. Well, I haven't even seen Aquaman yet. Nor have I, but I have heard it's good. I've heard it's good as well. But um, Wonder well, Woman's. Tell you, like, I've heard it's good from seventy percent of people, and then thirty saying, "What's well, just another DC film." But I will, I probably will buy it to check it oh, out. Oh, no, I'll definitely watch it at some point. Yeah, definitely. But um, I think Wonder Woman's going to be hard to beat for me, personally. And then the new one of that's coming out in 21, I think. Yeah, 2021. So long. I know. It's filming now? Like, huh? It's, it was filming, like, last year. I know. What is going on? It didn't much just take a long time to okay it. Like, are they wanting a 75-year-old Wonder Woman in, like, the third installment? 75. She is going to be... Well, she's not even that old now. She's like 30 something. She's gonna be too old. Ben Affleck <laughs> is what, like 50? Yeah, but Ben Affleck looks 70. That's different. The shape of him, though. Oh, he looks well. But yeah. he's, he's great immensely. Yeah. 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 I mean, I just watched the film with him then, the Triple Frontier. Is that good? It is good. Soundtrack's fantastic. Yeah, it really. It's quite rocky, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Pantera's in it. Metallic, yeah. Isn't I, it? I have to say, that oh, is man. one I want to watch because I, put, I did put it on my list. Yeah. <laughs> and the main reason was. In the trailer, there was rock and it just looked good. They have great. There's Pedro Pascal, they have Ben Affleck, they have uh, oh my goodness, I mean, like, thank you. I was, I was gonna say Jack but I do. It wasn't his real name. And there's one more big one in the uh, Oscar Isaac. Um, did you say him? No, I said Pedro Pascal. You oh, sorry, yes, you did. But um, it's you know that, that cast's unreal. Yeah, look, Ben Affleck's won what one or two Academy Awards. He's fantastic, I think, but. I prefer him in his older stuff really more than his newer stuff but this film was okay but you'll you'll enjoy it yeah I, I do want to watch it because oh, it was yeah. actually advertised in the cinema for Captain Marvel oh really and I turned to Rachel I was like is that Netflix well she they do they do it now yeah they Netflix. have I was like what yeah. and she was like yeah and she was like I've never seen that before no just stuff coming yeah. out like yeah really cool really cannot wait um, so we'll end that there but before we end up we usually have these uh, things like fun facts or mm -hmm. Final thoughts. Final whatever. thoughts or whatever. But so my just thought of the day <coughs> is uh, no one has ever made himself great by showing how small someone else is mm. by Urban Evil. Um, and I've seen so many things on Facebook recently of people just just being mean and rude. It's just, I don't know what's going on. Like I've just been on Facebook for the past couple of days and even on Twitter. And um, after that, it sort of came from the whole Darren Till loss thing that, uh, people have said like you know it's just, but just to do with UFC and, and, and mixed martial arts in general just people that lose by knockout or submission or something usually just get belittled and mm -hmm. 
And if they talk themselves up to this big, massive Which they have pedestal, to do. Which they have to do nowadays. You're hardly going to be like, I might lose. Yeah, but years <laughs> ago it was lose. like, I'm yeah. just going to go in here, kick the guy's ass and leave. And that's, yeah. that's what they ended up, that's what it was. But people just sort of posted photos. They're starting to post photos now of people getting hit in the face and their face being all... Yeah. You know. Um, and I don't think you're doing yourselves any favours, but there have been a few people saying, you know, like, well, it's your job. You're the guy that you're you're in there fighting you have to take you have to roll with the punches basically yeah but i disagree with that i just don't think you should ever kick a man when he's down or a woman when mm. she's down or whatever but even on facebook i've seen quite a lot of people recently with uh just just in general if someone posts a video of something and they don't like it they'll voice their opinion to the point where they're like well you're wrong your opinion's <laughs> wrong and i've seen things like you should go and kill yourself and stuff and i just uh. Don't even. Just not for that. Yeah. Um, and I've seen too much of it, even in like public comments and stuff. Mm. And it's just been, it's even under funny videos and stuff. And you, like, you go and do tag either yourself or Whoever. a yeah. couple of friends, even your girlfriend and stuff. But sometimes it stopped me from even tagging Lauren and one the other day. I was just like, I don't want to tag her because she shows yeah. me the comments and sees this thing. some nasty stuff. I just didn't, I just wasn't a fan of it. Like, but um, an opinion's an opinion. See, at the end of the day, like you can have an opinion, you can have a discussion over an opinion. Yeah. But it's never right to sort of force your own on someone else. Yeah. Like yeah. at the end of the day, if you don't agree, that's fine. That is fine. That should not change the way you think. Yeah. Unless yeah. obviously you see their side of things. But like yeah. that's what I mean. Like then you wouldn't have a disagreement, that's the thing. You know? Well, I, I, I think a healthy disagreement, there's nothing wrong with it. Like No, I agree. You but know, as so long as it's constructive and not somebody's going oh you shut up no you shut you know that yeah. video with the middle fingers yeah. the guy who's like uh, gives across the, guy, the road and then the other guy gives him yeah. <laughs> so it's the constant just in your face so yeah. that makes light of the thing which I think is nice like but I mean yeah. I just don't agree with anyone I just don't I just don't see any point in anyone's life where you should use those words or any vulgarity just to yeah. just to prove a point I think it's kind of stupid really so what was we quote just before uh, no one has ever made himself or herself, I should put in. Uh, great by showing how small someone else is yep. by Irvin Himmel. So, just remind yourselves, folks. Just be nice, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's not hard. Yeah, well, for me it is. But no, I joke. I joke. <laughs> but uh, yeah, folks, cheers for listening, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh no. <laughs>